Minnesota Republicans move to restrict same-day voting registration, arguing the practice is open to fraud. Political reporter Theo Keith joining us now. And Theo, the Secretary of State, though, ripping this plan. Sure is, Randy. More than a quarter of a million people registered on Election Day last November. Under this plan, their vote wouldn't automatically be counted. My biggest concern is that it takes us backwards. Democratic Secretary of State Steve Simon says the Republican plan will dismantle same-day voter registration in Minnesota. This isn't some boutique service. This is something that hundreds and hundreds of thousands of Minnesotans use every election. And from now on, it would mean that when you register at the polling place, you're not really registering to vote. You're registering for the opportunity to throw your ballot into the maybe pile. 21 states allow people to register and cast a ballot on the same day. The GOP plan says same-day registrants would have to cast a provisional ballot that could later be challenged. It also eliminates the practice known as vouching, when a registered Minnesota voter signs an oath confirming an unregistered person's address. Republicans say Minnesota's laws invite fraud. Voting for this, you are encouraging more voter fraud, more voters to come in that shouldn't be voting. They did not cite any specific evidence of wrongdoing. Do we have any proof of voter fraud? How many people do we have proof of? And I mean proof. I do not mean accusations. The Senate State Government Committee passed the bill Wednesday after a debate that veered across state lines. Democrats warned if the bill passes, Minnesota would face economic consequences like what's happening in Georgia. Major League Baseball has moved the All-Star game from Atlanta after new voting restrictions became law. Minnesota Republicans called it political. They're going to learn just like the NFL learned that polis, politics does not belong in major league sports. The provisional ballot requirement is unlikely to become law in Minnesota with a Democratic governor and House. In fact, the House is moving in the opposite direction as the Senate on this. Today, it advanced a plan that would automatically register a person to vote when applying for a driver's license. Amy?